This is a reminder lesson for lying on your side and reaching with your arm and knee. Please lie on your back and gently scan yourself. Pay particular attention to where you lift up away from the ground and where you push down into the floor. When you have a good idea of uh, how much space you either create or what type of contact you have with the ground, please roll over onto your right side. Now your right arm is going to be straight out and forward in front of you and your left arm is also going to be in front of you but on top of your right. Bend both of your legs so that your knees and your hips are about at 90 degrees and you'll probably have to use a support for your head. A firmer pillow tends to be best, and a softer pillow will, will allow your head to kind of sink down instead of to roll side to side. Now, would you please gently begin to push your left arm forward with your left elbow straight. You'll be sliding from your shoulder forward and then coming back to neutral so that the tips of your fingers line up again. And your left arm is going to slide over the top of your right. Now each movement soft, gentle, easy, and slow. And you want to focus on your shoulder blade sliding along your rib cage and the rolling of your hips and the gentle twisting of your spine. and then leave this alone and let yourself rest on your side. Now would you please gently begin to push your left knee forward. You'll keep your ankles together and just slide your left knee on top of your right. And again, each movement is soft, gentle, easy, slow, focusing on your pelvis rolling forward, your rib cage twisting, and the gentle rolling of your spine and your hips. And then leave this alone and let yourself rest. Now gently push both your left knee and your left hand forward. So you're sliding your left knee and your left hand both in the forward direction and then coming back to neutral. And again, it's the focus of your shoulder blade sliding along your rib cage, moving your whole entire arm as a unit, your whole entire left leg as a unit, and then coming back to neutral. And then leave this alone and let yourself rest. Now we'll go back up to your arm and shoulder and gently begin to slide your left arm backwards, keeping your left elbow straight. Just as you did before. Now the constraint in this movement is that if you start to bend your elbow, then you've moved too far. You want to keep your elbow straight with a soft lock. Not hard. Not straining to keep your elbow straight but just a soft lock so you can slowly slide your arm and shoulder back and then bring it back to neutral. And then leave this alone and let yourself rest. Now we'll do the same with your left knee. Begin to gently pull your left knee backwards, keeping your ankles together and allowing your left knee to slide over the top of your right leg. And each movement is going to be soft, gentle, and easy. And now we'll combine both your knee and your arm. So gently slide your left knee and your left hand and arm backwards and then come back to neutral. So sliding just back and then coming to neutral. And then leave this alone and let yourself rest.
Now this is where it gets tricky. While you're lying on your right side, begin to slide your left arm forward and your left leg backwards. So left arm forward, left leg backwards. And repeat this movement nice and gentle and easy. You're going to have to limit the range a little bit because it's a little bit more challenging through your spine and the center of your body. And now we'll go the opposite direction. So pause for a second, collect yourself, and then begin to slide your left arm backwards and your left knee forwards. And then leave this alone and let yourself rest. Now we'll add your eyes and your head into the movement. So as you are laying on your right side, begin to slide your left arm forward and take your left knee backwards as you turn your head to the left to look over your left shoulder and then come back to neutral. So begin to slide your left hand forward, your left knee backwards, and turn your head to look over your left shoulder. And keep going back and forth, nice and easy. And then leave this alone and let yourself rest. Now, laying on your side, begin to slide your left arm backwards, take your right knee forwards, and turn your head to the right, so you roll your head down into your support or your pillow. And then come back to neutral. And again, so you're sliding your left hand backwards, you're taking your left knee forwards, and you're turning your head and your face down into the pillow. And then leave this alone and let yourself rest. Now go back to what you already know, which is to Gently begin to just slide your left arm forward and then let it come back. And does it go farther and easier and more comfortably? Notice if that first tiny little bit of the movement that you do is simple and easy. And then begin to slide your left arm backwards. And is that simple? Is that easier? And then leave this alone and do the same with your left knee. Begin to gently slide your left knee forward and then come back. Forward easy and then come back. And do the same going backwards and coming back. And then lie all the way onto your back and just rest. Now this is a very powerful lesson for opening up your shoulders, your rib cage, your hip and tying it together with the movement of your spine. So it's a very, very good lesson. You can also add your eyes in as you turn your head. So when you turn your head one direction, uh, you take your eyes in the opposite direction to add a little bit more challenge to it. But let me know what you think. It's a great lesson for helping out in your shoulders and your hips. I look forward to your thoughts. Take care and have a great day.